Hey everyone, it's Wingspan TT, and it's time for Game 3 of Round 3 of the Wizards of the Coast Forum Tournament. I'm up against Dewey's again, and really hoping I can make up for the mistakes of last time. This is a great starting hand, so I'm going to take it. I got a 2 drop, a 3 drop, a 4 drop, a 5 drop. Um, the only kinds of drops that I also have are tier drops, because I really messed up um, last game. I I should not have played the Terastrodon the way I did. I should have chump block when he attacked, because I did not have enough life to withstand a second assault. And it really it would have turned out a lot differently if I had probably played that correct way. So I've been using the Terastron a little too recklessly. I really have to start thinking about how I'm going to be using it. One thing I would like to do here, of course, is um, doing a third turn Wood Elves into fourth turn Acidic Slime to take out one of his creatures, although I could also drop a fourth turn Briar Pack Alpha to block and kill his companion. But I like to get the mana lead early on because it allows me to have more options than he has. So the next turn I'm casting 5 mana stuff and he's casting 4 mana stuff. And then if I, um, <clears throat> you know, and then if I take out one of his lands, he'll be down to 3. So we'll see how that goes. If he attacks here, I might just double block just to kill this off early. That I don't know if it really benefits me to have these 1-1s one on the board. And they're not going to be doing anything later in the game. Oh god, please. Oh, Primal Bellow. Alright, so there you go. I threw my guys away. It's kind of a bad call, I guess. And you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have done that anyway, because if I'm just going to cast Acidic Slime next turn, then I would have had a creature with Death Touch on the board, so yeah, I threw away two blockers for nothing. Bad start to the game. Okay, there's Thrag Tusk, but I'd rather get Acidic Slime on the board first. Take out one of these things, force him to lose a character, force him to lose a creature. Um, that way, if he does this decide to attack and I death touch, he'll have one creature on the board. I'll have zero, but then I can play Thrag Tusk, which would be absolutely great. Now he's down to two lands, and I'm going to be hitting six next turn. He didn't draw land, or he probably would have played it. I don't know if he's going to attack. Um, and I basically want to like starve out his creatures. Stop his offense because Pack Instinct really just wants to keep the pressure on. If I could take the pressure off even just a little bit, that's great. He did draw land, he just didn't want me to have the information during his turn. Absolutely great. Six lands. So if I played this guy first, I would go down to three lands, then have four lands out. And one thing, this is the reason I'm going to do this. I could play Thrag Tusk. That's not going to surprise him. What I want to do is play the Wood Elves, get the extra land, and then have Briar Pack Alpha, which I can drop as a surprise to kill his thing when it comes in and attacks anyway. And I know he's going to attack. If he plays something scarier than that, I can beast within it um, if I have to. The Briar Pack Alpha is really interesting. It's 3 3 flash. And when it attacks, alright, now I'm going to play Briar Pack Alpha. When it comes into play, I can give any creature plus 2 plus 2, including itself, to make it a 5 5. And then I can block here and make him lose the Garrick's Companion. Uh, I really like this card because it also allows for like some tricky late game play where you can attack a bunch of elves and then get an extra 2 damage through. Damn, he says, all right, and he has nothing on the board. Now I can swing for four next turn, and look at this. I couldn't ask for anything more. Who could ask for anything more? Now, um, some people are like, oh, you should play Erratic Portal next turn, uh, this turn, so I get board control, but I don't want him to know I have the portal until I play it. So if we get Thrag Tusk, gain the five life back that it gives you. It gives you five extra life. Okay, when it comes into play, when it leaves, you get three threes, and now I'm back at 17, he's at 16. Now, because he doesn't know I have portal, he might tap out to play something. Then I can drop the portal and bounce it back to his hand, attack for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 damage, unopposed. And here we go, we have him tapping out. He's not going to be happy, because he's going to, just going to take all his damage. He thinks he's totally safe, and if he doesn't draw another land next turn, he's going to see the exact same scenario once again. So I'm play Erratic Portal, and like a draw Taunting Elf, also amazing card. Okay, I get to bounce this creature and attack completely unprotected. Alright, you should have worn protection, Dewey's. <laughs> Practice safe magic, alright? Attack here. And then I'm going to have the Taunting Elf, which is even better, because what that allows me to do is to attack. He won't If he can't kill Taunting Elf next turn, that's it. It's over, because he cannot do anything except block the Taunting Elf next turn. I don't even have to stop his blocker, and I think that's pretty much it. He would have to draw something, like, pretty amazing. GG. Well played. And that's it. He can't he can't stop the uh the taunting elf. 
The other thing I could do is I could actually um, beast within this land, okay, and then bounce his creature's hand so he doesn't have that blocker, but there's no reason to do that. I'm just going to attack with everything and end the match. So that's it. He's going to be forced to block the Taunting Elf. And that's it. So I'm going to the finals, guys. I hope you're happy for me. I hope you're happy to see me progress in Duels of Planeswalkers 2013. Very good games, Dewey's. Very good games, everyone else. And I'll see you in the finals. Cheers.